The five weeks long standoff has escalated to India's first deadly clash with China in at least 45 years, resulting in deaths in troops on both sides. India will have to re-examine its policies towards China and implement a recalibrated foreign and defense policy, says Gautam Bambavle, the former Indian ambassador to China. Following the events of 15th June, anti-China protests have broken out in Uttar Pradesh where the Chinese flag and statue of President Xi Jinping have been disfigured. The Indian side has been pitching for the restoration of status quo ante and immediate withdrawal of thousands of Chinese troops from the areas which India considers on its side of the LAC, which is the line of actual control. What is our history with China? Provoked by a territorial dispute and tensions over Tibet, China attacked India in 1962 and emerged victorious in the brief war. The War of 1962 sealed the fate of the Tibet issue as an eternal source of tension in Sino-Indian relations. To this day, China continues to claim the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh, while India lays to claim the Chinese-controlled Aksai Chin territory. Also, the territorial dispute has led to dangerous militarization of the Sino-Indian border, especially in disputed areas. In some, nearly half a century since the war has occurred, it continues to cast a long shadow over these relations. The question still remains, what led to the Galwan dispute? The military superpowers have been arguing for decades over territory in the high altitude, largely uninhabited region. Both sides see the area as strategically important, both economically and militarily. However, simultaneous face-offs in notable regions such as the Nakula Pass in Sikkim, Pangongso Lake, and the Galwan Valley make the situation different. If neither gives way, the dispute could have destabilizing consequences for both countries. How dangerous can this be? Potentially very dangerous if efforts to reduce tensions fail. If they are not successful, there is a risk of escalation between two rivals who happen to be the world's most populous countries and have nuclear weapons. Army delegations are in diplomatic engagement as talks take place at two locations, the LAC and Hot Springs in Ladakh. This is a very confusing time for us as citizens as we read headlines about the contention at our border but see China loaning us $750 million for the battle against COVID-19. What does this signal?